Now that we have provisioned our thermostat, we are ready to register it. First, you need to open the Radstat application. Go to Create an Account and enter your email address. Once your email address is completely entered and you check it to make sure it's correct, you should enter a password. A password should be six letters and one number. Make this something that you'll remember but make it so complex that it can't be easily guessed. After you enter it, you need to enter a second time and hit submit. Once the information is accepted, you can press done. This is a, if this is the first thermostat you have registered, a blank thermostat screen will appear. Press settings, you will see your email address and other information on the screen. You then want to press Manage Devices. You will have two options. One, Add Devices. This is used to find new thermostats added to the network. Or two, to refresh the RadStat app. We want to choose Add Devices. Now the application will look for new thermostats. When they appear, you want to click Apply. Once it, it has been applied, you go ahead and click the back. You will now see information about the new thermostat. You can change the information, such as the thermostat name, to something that will make it easier for you to remember. You can also change the default settings for the away. The away on your thermostat can be set for cool and heat. So when you go away, you simply press the away button and it will go to these settings automatically in order for you to save more energy. When completed with the screen, press the back. Now press back again to return to the main screen. We're in auto. So it's going to show no target temperature because we have to set up a heat and the cool target temperature. So let's go ahead and take it out of auto. Let's take it to heat. Then we go back. And we see we're in heat and our target temperature is 62 in heat. And so simply by going ahead and moving it up, let's say we're going to take it to 70. And now it shows our target temperature at 70. Shows our room temperature 69.5 or 69. If I went and I hit the house to away, it'll show our target is 68 because that's what we set it for. So push it again. That's our home setting. Now we want to go ahead and set up the cool. Now we're in cool. Our target temperature is 68. So let's go ahead and let's take it down to 64. And it's going to show you our target 64. And we're at 69. Well, that's a little too cool. So we're going to run it up to 72. So now we can see we've taken it up to 72 and it's 69. Now if we go home and shows that our way, our little airplane, it shows the target 78. You usually have your target temperature at least 4 degrees off for your away to save energy from where it's comfortable for you. Because when you're away, obviously, you don't want your pipes to freeze or the house to overheat, but it doesn't have to be comfortable for you. And then you go ahead and hit your home. And if for some reason you have set up programs and you don't want it to run the programs, you can press the hold, and then whatever temperature you set it on, let's say we set it uh, for 77, it's then going to take and your target's going to be 77, it will stay at 77 until you take the hold off. Right now it holds on. I take the hold off. And now I can go ahead and set my target temperature to whatever I want to be again. And there's 75. And it will, if we have a program set up, it will run that program. Likewise, we can take and control the fan. The fan being auto means it will turn on or turn off 
whenever your heating or cooling system turns on or off. Well, if we take the fan and put the fan to on, it's to circulate the air in your house. It means if it's in the on position, the fan will run constantly whether your heating or air conditioning is on or not. Most times I think you'd like the fan into the auto position. And you can go into settings, and like we showed you before, shows your single thermostat, the username. You can log out because we're logged in right now.